everybody and welcome to my channel. So today I am very excited about this video. I have been holding on to this purchase for a while because I wanted to record the unboxing, if you will. I picked up a Kiki K planner. I did not pay full price for this. I picked this up on sale. I believe the sale price was $39.99. They did have a special going that if you made a purchase, you could pick up an accessory for an additional $5. So I chose a small pen set. So we are going to dig into this. I currently do not have a Kiki K. I've heard a lot about them over the years. And so when I saw this one was on sale, I thought that it was a great opportunity to pick one up. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some background information about this planner. This is a B6 size. The cover is all leather um, and the color is oatmeal. It's really, I would say, darker than a cream, but lighter than a tan. So I think the oatmeal description for the color is perfect. So I've never used this size planner before. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use it for but I am excited to open this up. Okay, so first things first, the original price on this planner was $79.95, and that is in um, Australian currency. The U.S. price is exactly the same, $79.95. Like I said, I did, did pick this up on sale. To be honest, it does feel, the cover feels a little stiffer than I thought it was going to be. Um... You know, people talk about Kiki K's leather, and I thought, honestly, that it would be a little bit softer. Now, the only thing that I have to compare this to is, so this is the Recollections binder that I am comparing it to. Now, when I first picked this one up, probably four years ago, maybe, it was very stiff. It has softened a little bit, um, but obviously the quality is supposed to be very different. I did think it was nice the kind of paper that they put over the Kiki K logo and the zipper and the binding to protect it. That was a nice little touch. So let's go ahead and flip through this.
Okay, so that is the planner. Now let's talk first impressions. To be honest with you, for the price of this planner, for a, originally an $80 price tag, I thought that it would feel a little more luxe. Now I don't mean that to be harsh, um, but $80 is a lot of money for a planner. Now I do understand that all of these pages are refillable, so all you're gonna have to do year after year or whenever you go through these pages are just pick up the inserts. That being said, the inserts. These just feel like cardboard to me and that's probably exactly what they are. I do think it's nice that they are coated and there is um, there are gold embossing images at the bottom of all of these. However, there is this, after the stickers, this divider right here that feels like a harder plastic. I wish that these dividers were actually made of this. Um, I don't know if you can hear that sound. It's definitely um, a plastic divider and I think it would have been nice to have all of these dividers made out of this material right here. Just because this cardboard material can be found you know, in less expensive planners, so that's one thing. I do really like how tight the coil is. It did take some effort for me to open it, which is comforting to know that it's not just going to pop open at the seals. I really like the design of this planner. I like that there are a, two pen loops. There's one here, and then there's also one in the back. I also think that it's nice that there are two snaps. Now, the way I understand it, this planner was made in collaboration with people who love Kiki K. Um, you know, influencers in the planner community gave their input, and that's how this specific planner was designed. So I do think the two pen loops are really helpful, and especially the fact that there are two snaps to close it, so if your planner gets a little more chunky then you have that option. I do really like the card pockets right here. Um, the stitching all looks really nice and I don't really see any type of damage or issues. There is something very small that is in this corner and I can't tell if it's um, it looks like it's just some type of plastic that's on there. Um, I'm not really sure. I think the other thing about this planner that I do really like and enjoy is when you snap it, um, it feels really thick and solid. So I like that in a planner. It reminds me a little bit of my Hobonichi, even though that is smaller. So I want to do some size comparisons with this. Like I said, this is a B6. So I'm going to grab a couple of supplies and I'll be right back. All right, so our first size comparison is going to be the B6 Kiki K compared to the A5 Recollections. So as you can tell, the B6 is smaller. And it's gonna be smaller, obviously, every way you look at it. Okay, so the next comparison we're gonna look at is the A5 Plum Paper Planner Goal Planner and the B6. Now, even though this is considered an A5 um, with coils, this is a B6 with rings. So side by side, they do look almost exactly the same. When you lay them on top of each other, they do look exactly the same size for either your purse purposes um, for the size of the actual planner. However, the difference of course is going to be the paper sizes. So that is going to be your writing space for the A5. Okay, and then this is gonna be your writing space for the B6. Now, these pages are much smaller, as you can tell. So that's something that you do wanna keep in mind. Okay, so next up we have the Mini Happy Planner 
on the right and the B6 on the left. I'm just going to turn this so you don't get a glare from that window. Okay, so size wise, obviously this one is going to be smaller. But if you look at the size of the pages, it's nearly the exact same size. Now, obviously the mini happy planner setup for their weekly pages are going to be much different than the Kiki K, but size wise, they are exactly the same. Okay, so the last size comparison I'm gonna do is the B6 alongside the Hobonichi, which is an A6 size. This obviously is much smaller of a planner and my planner does have a cover on it. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to look at with this planner specifically are the pen loops. I have a few different pens and we are gonna see which pens actually fit in the pen loop and those that will not.
Okay, so as you can tell, the pens that are gonna work the best in the pen loops are ones that, number one, are very narrow, and number two, ones that don't have the gripper on them. For instance, this one, the Pilot G2, this gripper really has a hard time getting through this pen loop that is leather and then this pen loop that um, feels like just uh, elastic with fabric on it. Obviously the Kiki K pens uh, fit very nicely. I'm not really sure how functional it's going to be when you have the pen in this pen loop right here because I'm sure as you could tell when I held it up it was bulging out the pen. I feel like after a wire while if you have a pen there and you have this closed it's going to create an indention on the outside of the planner. I could be totally wrong um, but that's what I would think would happen. I think it does lay pretty nicely when it is out um, now this is obviously a lot of paper that's in here. You can take some out or if you wanted to um, use it as is, I think that that would work. I do like the notepad in the back, but at the same time, I feel like it's a little bit of a wasted space because you are provided so much lined paper and grid paper to begin with. Now that's just a personal preference of mine. Um, I think it would have been nice to have a larger pocket in the back instead of this notepad. You do have a side pocket right here and then you can slip things in underneath the front cover as well as a zipper pocket, um, but I don't think that you can have too much storage space. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope that you guys found this helpful if you were considering picking up a Kiki K. Once again, this is the B6 size. I will leave um, all the links down below if you want to learn more about any of the planners that I mentioned today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you like this video and you'd like to see more from me, please hit the subscribe button and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!